I was placed in special ed when I was in the third grade. What does that have to do with this video? Well, to this day, I find that writing really takes a lot of energy from me. And luckily I've gotten better, you know, just through like high school and college. Today I wanna to talk about copy.ai and how it can improve your overall content creation. And for the last three years, I've been running an e-commerce brand that I started pretty much right out of college where I sell private label footwear online. And as a one person team, I've had to wear a lot of different hats in digital marketing in content creation in social media that have kind of given me a good understanding of the entire process. This is a follow up video to my last copy.ai video where I just gave my first impressions and did a little test comparing my copywriting skills and an AI copywriting. I'll link that video down in the description if you guys want to watch that. But today I want to talk about how copy.ai is literally changing the game for content, how many tools that they're releasing all the time and how much more efficient you can work because of these new tools. Now, first I want to explain copy.ai for people who don't know it. So let's say you're trying to use copy.ai to create a hook for your blog. You can just type a little blurb about your company, the topic, the industry, what it's about, and it'll give you different types of hooks that you can use from there. But when you look at the results, you might not actually see a full complete hook that you are 100% satisfied with. Instead, you'll see different ways of thinking. Maybe you'll start off the hook with relatability. Maybe you'll start it off with a fact. And from there, it's your job to use your knowledge of your customer base and your audience to kind of optimize those different hooks. The best way to use copy.ai is actually the same way you would use an Instagram filter. You know, you upload the photo, you choose the filter, and then you tweak it to your liking, and then you post it. So from this example, you can tell that copy.ai mainly saves you time in the ideation phase of creating content. For me, when I'm blogging, creating social media content, creating ad copy for my Facebook ads, a lot of the time goes into ideation, figuring out what the hook is, different ideas that I can use to capture people's attention. There's just a lot of things that go under the tent of ideation. Copy.ai is great for that aspect of it, but you know, as you move towards the middle and end parts of that, you know, it's not going to help you execute for sure. And it's not going to help you identify your customer needs for you. Although it can give you ideas. There's a tool for that. So now I want to share with you six different practical use cases that copy.ai has helped me with in the last couple months and might be able to help you with in the future. The first one is blogs. We kind of talked about this one, but it does have a tool where you can come up with a hook for your blog as well as ideas for your blog. I don't know if you can relate, but as a one person team, a lot of the times I feel like I just wish I had a different variety of thought. So sometimes I run into idea fatigue where I'm not even sure if my idea is good. So I wish I can welcome a different school of thought, if you will. And because copy.ai can give you new outputs every time you click make copy, it's just a matter of time before you kind of train your eyes and find a good idea eventually. So the second thing is running ads. I run a lot of Facebook ads and have in the past, I've probably spent over $40,000 just on my business ad account in the past couple of years. And really part of what I've learned makes a great ad is a great combination of ad creative, ad copywriting, and interest targeting. Now the interest targeting is more technical. If you don't know about Facebook ads, you can kind of ignore that. But when it comes to copywriting and coming up with the right creative, the right video, how you're going to grab someone's attention within the first two to three seconds, then you need some ideas. You need some good ideas. A lot of the time I'm just testing and experimenting with like five different types of captions or copywriting. Uh, sometimes it's hard to come up with those five. And that's where I would use copy.ai to kind of give me some ideas, especially with copywriting. I feel like we have our own biases on like what makes a good hook, why someone would keep on reading. I like to use copy.ai as kind of like a neutral third party because I know that I'm not just like in my own head about it. So. I know what to look out for, but sometimes I just am missing that, like that variety. So the third one is social media management. They have a great tool uh, for Instagram and Facebook captions, but mainly for Instagram. If you think about the amount of time that you spend coming up with Instagram captions, it's pretty insane. Considering Instagram in 2021 is, is kind of going down in organic reach, especially compared to like previous years, you probably don't want to spend a ton of time just like nitpicking every single letter and word and punctuation, you might as well you let copy.ai create 10 different captions for you. And then you can kind of, like I said, take it and edit it the way you want based on your knowledge of the customer. 
If you have the creative for seven days worth of Instagram content, you can create the captions in literally probably 30 minutes or less. Number four is identifying pain points. They have this tool where you can literally come up with different pain points your customers my experience. And it's really helpful in the beginning stages of a business when you're still kind of figuring out who your target audience is. Um, I know I've experienced that same thing where I'm just like, who is my target audience? I mean, I have a general idea, but when it comes to, you know, trying to relate to why they buy, what kind of solutions I'm solving for them, it's not super clear in the beginning. So this can help you kind of put yourself in the customer's shoes. But if you understand your customer's pain points, you can create different products that address their pain points. You can write blogs, create content that are more relatable. And overall, it's just kind of like the foundation for you as a, um, as a business to keep on growing. Number five is new business names. These are pretty useful when you're just getting started with a project or a business that you've always wanted to start. I'm not great at coming up with names <laughs> personally. I feel like they're just too like verbose, too long. Uh, not very snappy. You can put in a blog about peanut butter and it will come out with different names for that blog um, and you can choose from there. Number six is website copy optimization. I know for me, I'm always testing out different types of hero copy and I know that updating this copy will help new customers learn about me in a quicker way, in a clearer way. And if you're not communicating why they should stay, what's different about you, what you're selling, what the benefits and the features are about your product, then they're gonna leave really quick. Uh, so yeah, they have a tool for different types of hero text that you can use for your website. They have product descriptions tools where they can spawn different product descriptions. They also have a tool for meta descriptions if you want to boost your SEO. Although it's your job to kind of go in depth and research the different keywords that you want to optimize for. So those are six different use cases for copy.ai. And like I kind of mentioned in the first video, this is a tool for people who are freelancers, who are YouTubers, who are small business owners, who have employees that they want to give this tool to so they can work more efficiently. It's a good tool. So I would definitely check it out. And at the very least, try out their seven day free trial. I'll leave a link in the description below and you can give that a try for yourself. So those are some useful use cases, but now I wanna talk about the future of CPT3, which is the AI that powers softwares like copy.ai. If you didn't know, it was created by a company called OpenAI, which is founded by a few different co-founders, one of which is Elon Musk. So Elon Musk is helping you write and read better. I'm not mad about it. If you go to OpenAI's website, you can see different types of uses that CPT3 is, is used for. And one of them is literally creating an article where only 52% of the people were able to tell if this was an article written by a human or a robot. That's how close, that's how advanced this uh, language model is. Imagine if copy.ai came out with an option to create full on medium sized articles, 500 words, a thousand words, and you can essentially type in any topic like the history of Genghis Khan, I don't know, and it would come out with a thousand word essay on Genghis Khan. I mean, to me, the first thing I think about is, damn, first of all, students would be flocking to your software because they would be waiting to the last night before an essay is due and they would just put in their, their topic and then like, kind of tweak it up. But yeah, it, just imagine that but for your own business. Imagine just being able to create blogs within literally 30 seconds to a minute and then just using your knowledge, your expertise of your customers and your industry to make that even better. That would be crazy and I think that would ramp up the amount of blog output in the world by so much that the people who know about copy.ai are going to have a huge, huge lead on pretty much everyone else. I think it has a lot of room to help us as digital marketers, as business people, uh, content creators. It's very exciting. So with that guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you got some value out of it. If you did, please like and subscribe down below. We're trying to hit a thousand subscribers by the end of 2021. Make sure to use the link down below if you wanna start that seven day free trial. And with that guys, I'll catch you guys in another video. Peace.